Welcome to the new edition of Battlefield 3. I'll just. I'm gonna start a new thing where I'm gonna show my stats like once a week. Just show you guys how I'm doing. You can judge if you want. That's your opinion and your decision. I'm just here to make some more videos, get something new out there on my channel. So here we go. I mean, as you see, I'm not a pro or anything, so. But I do my best. I mean, I don't go out there and, you know, play like everybody else does. Go out there and, uh, give it my all I just do my best and <coughs> troll a little bit pretty much have fun something the game should be worth doing is having fun you know I know some people that play the games and they're like all into it if they lose like 50 battles or not 50 battles they get like killed 50 times they restart their stats or something I'm, I don't see the point in that I'm not here to prove anything I'm just just playing for the fun of it Plus, you can see right here, my ammo bags over 2,000 resupplies. I'm I help my uh, teammates out more than I do anything else, because it's better to work as a team than go out there alone and get your ass whooped. And as you can tell, my favorite gun is the M249. I mainly use that in death matches, team death matches, uh, sometimes on conquest, depends on uh, the environment I'm in, or I'll use my SKS. My knife ain't that, my knife ain't that good, but, you know. I try my best. Vehicles you'll see on this one. <laughs> I'm good in tanks. That's my main thing that I'm in all the time is tanks. I I can't fly helicopters with the shit. I can fly airplanes, jets, and shit, but not as much as humanly possible cuz I see it like this I'm better on the ground than I am in the air unless somebody's flying a helicopter then I'll be on the side of it helping them out or inside of it either one Haven't got the chance to unlock any uh, maps yet, so I can't use like the skid loader or dirt bike, which I would love to have the dirt use the dirt bike, but that's in the end game. You'll see what I have in the assignments and.
like I said, my machine gun is my best gun. As you can tell, 114 ribbons. My resupplies are 213. They, I'm surprised they're not the highest ribbons I got. My highest is Conquest Finish, but I play Conquest a lot, more than I do anything else. I know some people would play like hours on end and as you can tell like support engineer and salt I haven't been doing really good on these at all as you can tell nine hours to 50 hours I just try my best to play under different ones different classes so I don't sit there and play the same class over and over again I switch it up every time I die so I have something new to play with I don't new different guns different uh, gadgets and oh my god stop popping that shit up uh, But yeah, I try to get, I try to use as much as I can, different times, so I don't get bored with the same out, same ass weapons and same gadgets. Every day I switch my handgun or my sidearms and my uh, gadgets around, so I'm trying something new. I haven't got premium yet. Would like to, but can't afford the 60 bucks right now. Or is it 50 now? I don't remember. But I got back to Carcan. Doing pretty good on that so far. I got two of it completed. Almost three of them completed. Or three more completed. I would have, no it's not that one, I would have this one done, but I'm not good with the mortars. I try my best to use my mortar to kill enemies, but it ends up biting me in the ass. I sit there and shoot them off and then somebody comes up behind me and shoots me in the ass or something. I'm like, fuck. Close quarters might begin soon. Armored kill might begin sometime. I just don't. I just op or I uh, bought aftermath this month, and as you see, I got two completed. Almost the third one. Third one's easy, you know. Just sit there and play the maps, pick up the weapons. That's the easiest one out of the all three or all the ones that's on the list. In an end game with the dirt bike, I would love to get next month, but I'm not sure because I'm fighting over that one and uh, close quarters. If you have, if you, uh, if you have a decision that you would like me to make between close quarters and f end game, just comment on comment in the comments below and I'll just take your suggestions you know what which one's better or yeah I'll add armored kill to it as well which one's better out of the three dog tags you know same rookie yes dog tags some of them are all right some of them you need platinum to get them I have unlocked them but I need platinum to actually Get them like see like that one six one one can't use them unless I get platinum but I'm not too worried about it right now I mean they're just dog tags nothing too important 
in my book. Those are my two ones I'm using now. Might be switching the uh, planet versus zombie dog tag for the. Uh, oh, which one was I gonna use? Shit. Uh, I think it's down here. Yeah, the trolling one. I like to troll a lot sometimes if I'm bored. My loadout list for this week. Subject to change, of course. My assault, I got the AK-74M under sludge rail. My sidearm right there, my X-Bow, squad ammo, which I also changed my special, uh, each time I get online so I can rank up on those as well. Got my engineer shit. And I'll get with you in a minute. Uh... My support is pretty much the same stuff. I use the I use my M249 the most. I change my sidearm a lot. I sometimes change my gadget too, but I usually ma mainly use C4 because if I'm in a rush or whoa, what the hell? You see a lag? Uh. Anyways, uh. When I'm you doing conquest or rush, I'll be s good. Basic information to use is to go into a building that you can hide right by the wall or the door. Throw your medical. Or your ammo bag down. Throw your C4 on the wall. Wait for the enemy to come in. Pa! Knock the fuck out of them. Works for me. Yeah, I don't know about you, but I get I get a good 10, 12, 15 kills during the match. Depends on how long the game is. My recon. I use the SKS. I will not switch. Because that's a pretty good weapon to use if you're doing a long distance shot. Uh, I change that gadget one all the time. Can't really change gadget two. Uh, my sidearms I change. I haven't unlocked much stuff for the... the uh, tanks and jets and copters and shit because like I said I hardly use them unless I really really need have the chance to get in there and do something otherwise I I just said it, I just walk it out run it out my unlock page Closest one has to be with the tank. Getting close to rank 43, that's pretty good. Uh, yeah, I just, I just try my best. I don't really uh, push it to the limit like some other people do. Okay, let's see what. Why did he ask me to join the game? I don't have Battlefield Online. Right now. <laughs> I would like to buy it for the PC. <laughs> Wonder what he uses. Um. Yeah, he uses the PC. I don't have it for the PC. I only have it for the PS3. <laughs> uh, 
But yeah, that's my Battlefield experience for this week. Next week, I'm hopefully it will change and I'll be at rank 43. Plus that tournament coming up, unless they cancel it. But the uh, double experience is coming up. I think it's May 3rd. I'm not seeing it now. It was right here on the top story list. Maybe it's on news. Yeah, there it is. 96 hour double experience event in May. May 9th to the through the 13th. Can't wait for that cuz I will I am all in for the Double experience. Hopefully I can get to rank 45 by then. If not, then this will definitely help my chances into getting to rank 45. I've only had this game for uh, six months now. I know. Low score, but I've also been playing other games like... The latest one I've been playing was Family Guy, Back to the Multiverse, and I should be getting Call of Duty uh, 3, and I'll be working on that one as well as Battlefield. So hopefully more to come on this update next week. Until then... This is Ron Waldrop, a.k.a. Ron the Red Dragon, and we will see you next week.